We did just brute force it into orbit instead of finessing it into orbit, right? Das, NASA, NASA, I don't understand that. Das, after you're done with the space plane, could you build a propeller mod and build World War II and World War II? That's not really my thing, Zop. That's not really my thing. Um, so, building propeller planes and using mods like that, I really try to stick with a stock game because I want people to learn the stock game. I do have a mod highlight that I do on Thursdays, but it's going to be a while before I get, get, get two propellers. So I just joined, but... Looking at the topic, question. So often my center of mass is so far forward, wheels are hard to place. What do you suggest to put it further back? Engines. Out the wazoo. <laughs> Can move your center of mass back. This sort of setup right here, by the way, thank you for coming over. Friend bear, friend bear the samurai. This sort of setup will also you move your center of weight, center of mass back. Um, the engines are definitely heavy. Put things you're not going to use during flight in the back, like monoprop or something like that. Um, man, what problems are you having specifically with the center of mass being too far to the back? It's really the center of lift versus the center of mass, not exactly where the center of mass is. Just call you Eevee. Nice, we'll do. I could swear the rape here is 1.5. No worries, no worries, Wildfart. Um, I actually wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't look at the weight of the rape here before you came into the stream, so... Now, now, fix it. Can you give you information? There's an intake air usage readout in Kerr. Engines normally flame out at 10% air availability, which should equate to about a 10 or 1,000% usage. Yes, Cybertech. Um, you are correct. I do need to add that into the save. Convert Majesty into a space plane. Whatever, Luis. You convert it. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. All right. All right. It's 8. I'm still good. I'm still good. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Let me look at something right quick. Oh, we've got this over here. Where is the window? I've got so many windows open. There's the window I'm looking for. Reload. Cool. Oh, hey. Squadcast is on. We were supposed to raid Squadcast. And we didn't. <laughs> hmm. We were totally supposed to raid Squadcast. That was a thing we were going to do. <laughs> there was a thing that we were going to do, and it was going to be raid Max Maps. Hmm. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Who here wants to raid Squadcast? <laughs> right quick. Well, okay, I'm going to keep streaming, right? I'm going to keep streaming. But we kind of needed to... Uh, Sing happy birthday to Max Maps because it's his birthday. My channel's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Optic Baka. Optic Baka. Thank you for that. Um, it's Max Maps' birthday, and I was supposed to go tell him happy birthday. Is anybody interested in raiding KSP TV? <laughs> I wonder if I get in trouble for doing that. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not done with this. We're going to keep doing this. We are going to keep doing this. Did I miss anything here? All right. Let me see if I missed anything over here in the official channels in just a second. I did miss something because I was supposed to be raiding some people. <laughs> My bad. I am up for it. Do it. Let's go. Let's do it all. All right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. It's Gav, chill out. If you don't, if you post the link too soon, Gav. If you post the link too soon, um, people don't say the right thing. They don't say the right thing. You've got to do it all at once. Let me actually open up this. All right, let's do this. We're gonna raid KSP TV. Let me get it over here. The cover laser, it's kind of our There's Max. Steps He's got a birthday hat on. That's hilarious. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to raid KSP TV. I'm not gonna stop streaming. We're just gonna do a raid in the middle of my stream, and I'm gonna keep streaming. So watch whatever you want. But here's what we're gonna do. I want you to go to KSP TV, and when you get there, I want you to say Happy Das Birthday, Max. Happy Das Birthday, Max. Just like this, not DOS attack. Happy DOS birthday, Max. Happy DOS birthday, Max. Go ahead and go to KSP TV. Don't spam it. Just put it once, please. Just put it once. But go over there and say Happy DOS birthday, Max, in KSP TV. You can also right click and open a new tab if you want to keep the stream open. I am not done streaming. But let's go over there and say Happy DOS birthday, Max. <laughs> Let me turn him up there. That's one thing I wish we could get. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Look at the chat scrolling. We're trying to chip these down. Thank you, Demo Blaster. I agree with you. And thank you to everyone who has been uh, saying happy birthday to me. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. We're raiding KSP TV. are too sweet. <laughs> yes, we're too sweet. You're so excited. Happy Das birthday, Max. Guys, it's Max's birthday. I was supposed to raid him a lot sooner than this. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> My bad. Wow. That was a lot of people. That was a lot of people. Snuggly Squid, Demo Blaster, Hi, Echinesis. Guys, How you doing, guys? <laughs> oh, Shotzel. Shigadurin. <laughs> Oh, Fire Feister okay, Nest Dater. Who right, else? So we don't mess up on the stream more. <laughs> Zop went. Sam Suni, undead so rocket pilot. The, the thing is, I get just enough success. Jam right, session. Too bad about Skunk Slayer. That's great. Iron Eagle. No I O. Cybertech. Rin Phoenix. CC Speedy G. Psycon. Oracle. Commander of Art. Lazy Sky. Me. War Warcam. A ab sound wave. The room is in slow mode. Really nice, that's awesome. With those wars, I'm just, I'm getting tickly now. Magical Mexican. Rob Bremer. Ceterapiv. Alright. Alright. That was excellent. Jade the Fox as well. Jade the Fox. Excellent day. That was a wall of congrats. That was pretty funny. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Happy birthday, Max Maps. Happy birthday. And then I'm going to continue streaming. <laughs> Like one person saying it eight times. Yeah, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. All right. It's really hard to keep up with as well, right? It's really hard to keep up with. So I've paused that stream. He looks very serious over there. Let me unmute the chip tunes. <laughs> Let me press play. And let's continue on with this. Let's continue on with this plane. Rhino Rocks 13. Hollygood with the follow while we were raiding. Evie with the follow. Yeah, I think that was everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evie, Hollygood, and Rhino Rocks. Missed you, Hollygood, I think. I totally missed you. Totally missed you, and I, apo I apologize for that. Outpost Centara, Silverstein. <laughs> Guys, don't keep spamming it. Mike 666 as well. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. All right. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. This room is no longer in slow mode. Nice. We had some issues. Can you, so can you call Max via Skype and sing a birthday song for him? <laughs> on the stream that would be hilarious that would be hilarious we need to work on this plane some more so here's what I need let's do a bit of a reset what do I need to fix what do I need to fix back on track Olfart I love it thank you thank you Olfart back on track tell me what I need to fix type in what I need to fix and we will have a look at what's going on over here when I get back from getting a drink so type in what I need to fix drain the tanks was one that's right, and we will continue on. We will continue on. All right, I will be right back. I'm going to get a drink. Get a drink.
<clears throat> I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> what did I miss? What did I miss? I may have missed some stuff there. What was it, I wonder? <laughs> Oops, we sent it into slow mode. I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for that. Is my Skype going off? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like I got in any trouble. Nobody was, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't get in trouble for that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, what else did I miss while I drink here? There was that. Back on track. Okay, start draining the fuel tanks with a COM CMO display is on. Yes, old fart. That is what we're going to do next. North Star here. What's up, North Star? How's it going? Some sort of forward of center control surfaces. Uh, Renfings, we've got that. We've got the standard canards, right? That are definitely forward of scenics. Forward of this thingy. Where is it at? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, center mass. So we've got these control surfaces forward of center, right? We definitely have those. We don't just want to brute force it in, though. Oh my gosh, seriously, DA. All right. I think we're good to go. Fatted Ginger, what's up? <laughs> I never heard back from you about setting up my own stream, Das. Where did you send me a message? I don't recall getting a message, but honestly, the Twitch messenger is so terrible, Northstar. I do apologize, um, but once you click on something, you can't like flag it for follow-up or anything. So, if you want, send me another message or reply to me or something just to pump it up at the top of the queue because the Twitch messenger is terrible if that's where you sent it. I need to fix the plane. Yes, thank you, Silverstein. <clears throat> Monobobby. I don't think that our current center of mass is our big problem. I think the changing center of mass is a problem, but I don't think that the actual center of mass, where it is on the back of the plane, is the problem. It really doesn't have anything to do with the front of the plane versus the back of the plane. It really has to do like uh, the center of mass versus the center of lift. And that's, that's what we're about to look at here. That's what we're about to look at. What's up, Shanny Hemi? How's it going? Maybe the mass on it. Yep. More Dustin. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Welcome to the stream. We are definitely going to play with the mass. The plain DOS has makes me look like the Blackbird. You're right. That's what we started with, Jade. That's what we started with. Um, Zop with the tilted wings. KSP can't really do a lot with the tilted wings. Um, try to angle the small wings in front five degrees up. I'll try that stone a lot. I'll, I'll try that. I'm not going to angle the main wings, but I'll angle the uh, canards, right? Canards. Don't bother with the chat, Doss. It's off topic right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Did I get anything else? About a week ago. Yeah, if you could send me again. If you could send me, send me a message again, Northstar. It's to the Twitch messenger is so bad, but I will get back to you. Um, I will get back to you if you can just ping me one more time. Please. That would be nice. Doss, no IO just helped me out with 20... Curse of L's, apparently. Thanks, Noio, for the donation. You're amazing. Dude, huge shout-out for Noio. Noio, thank you for supporting Cybertech. He is absolutely awesome. I really do appreciate people that donate to uh, Cybertech. He always hangs out in the channel. He was streaming Kerbal Engineer Development the other day, and he was making some really awesome things that I got to use last night. You should have seen me, Cybertech. I was screaming on KSP TV about how awesome it was. How awesome it was. Das, you can make the main ring dihedral... That is da, 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 possible. Yes. But I don't think... Uh, hmm. What's the, what's the command for that, I wonder? Tachyonic brain. Thanks for the follow. I had these things. And somebody said to angle them up. Like that? Does that entertain you? How about 1x symmetry? Would that entertain you? It doesn't look very cool. But now we've angled them up just a little bit. What we really need to do, before I even bother with that, I don't I don't even think I want to bother with that right now because it's ugly. <laughs> what we really need to do, I think, yeah, let's just leave that like that for now. What I really want to do is use my little drawn craft, right, and see if I can't see how this plane was balanced once it was in space. So up at the front, we had 2, 11, and 0. So two, we're only going to be able to get so close. Two, sixteen, 
in zero. Look at that center of mass going back. In this one, we had 270, so full in 13, just a little bit of oxidizer. Close enough. In this one, we had 135 liquid fuel and zero oxidizer. In this one over here, we were totally empty. In this one here, we were totally empty. And in this one, we had 40 and 165. So 40 and 165, that's full. So that's where our center of mass was. Interestingly, did we just really get close enough? There's our center of lift. Aha. Thank you, Jade. I appreciate it. Um, I will check it after the stream. After the stream. Well, somebody, no, somebody further up when I was reading Bremer, they said to angle them, they, they said to angle them five degrees up. I don't think that person was talking about dihedral, but maybe other people are talking about dihedral. Why, what are we going to get out of that? What are we going to get out of dihedral? How is that going to help us? How is that going to help us? The wing load, see, North Star, I agree with this. Your wing load is too high. You need more wing area, North Star 1989 said. Das, you can make the main wing dihedral. What do, we, what do we want to do with that? What would making the main wing dihedral do? Let's see here. That. Anything else? You're hungry? <laughs> Alright. Dihedral will provide vertical stabilization. Not really in the game, is it? Making it more stable. Okay. I don't know if it actually works that way in the game. I've never really felt like it does that. But, uh, Dihedra will make the main more stable in banking. Okay, I'll do it. Since so many people are saying it, I've never really felt... I feel like it decreases the amount of lift you get. I know that that's true. But I've never really felt like I've gotten much from making it dihedral. But I will definitely give it a try. Tell me it's in two symmetry, so I don't have to do it twice. So there we've done that. That didn't really change anything. That didn't really change anything. I mean, look. It barely moved it up whatsoever. We'd have to put it a lot more uh, dihedral than that, I believe, right? Now we're totally boned as well. Let me fix that. We're not getting very much of our lift from these outside wings. I think we're getting most of the lift from the lifting body of the craft. We're barely getting any lift at all from these outside wings. See how the center of lift is not, in fact, going anywhere, right? I would expect it to be moving up. <laughs> we actually have to make these things dihedral, which would break everything. So these wings are not, uh, it doesn't, yeah, but it should move it up, shouldn't it? It raises the center of lift, just like putting, correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be wrong. Just like putting a wing up here, you see how that raises the center of lift? Do you see it going up, right? Are you telling me that the VAB maybe can't do it if the VAB can't simulate it? Yeah, I don't think the difference will be minor, dust greetings. I don't think there's any difference at all. In fact, look, the amount of dihedral we get from this, I just don't think that's going to get us very far at all. See how it moves it? You lose a little bit of lift, but it doesn't move it up at all. In this design, in this design. I'll go with it just because it looks freaking cool. <laughs> But I don't think that that's going to really get us much of anything. Because so much of this, so much of this lift is coming from these lifting bodies, right? I have a feeling that that's what's going on. It decreases lift, but it also increases vertical stabilization. Yeah, that's what I thought. Negative dihedral makes it more control responsive. Nice. <laughs> the difference definitely... It decreases the total lift, but when you bank, the lift will be higher on the side where the wing is low. Yes, I gotcha. I think... Northstar, I th I'm on the same page with Northstar. I think that we need a lot more wing area. I think we need a lot more wing area. So, should we, uh, should we extend these wings out to also get more dihedral? Or should we add in my wing area thing like I did last time, right? Let me get the bigger one. Nope, that's not the bigger one. That's not it. Should we do it this way? Because look at that. That would actually give me dihedral as well. Not really. That's not true dihedral. That would just raise the center of lift. So that's not the same. See, that's what we've done in the past. To increase the center of lift. 
And that increases the lift as well. That's kind of the same design. I mean, we're basically just building the... Uh, Extend the wing areas forward. There are issues with wide wing flexing. Not anymore, North Star. Not anymore. Um, these won't flex very much with these strong connections between this. And we're not putting a lot of load on these wings, so they won't flex much either. Um, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with wing flexing right now. Make an upper wing layer at the back of the plane parallel to the main wing. How's this, Monev, that I just did? <laughs> How's that look? You need to go to sleep, but when are you streaming next time? I want to see a perfect plane. Okay, Zop, we'll do it. If it raises the center of lift, who cares? Do it. So we did that. Um, what's the benefit of having the center of lift above the center of mass? It's more stable. You're basically hanging from it, right? You've got this this force that's keeping you in the air, the, the center of lift. And if you have it in the middle, it's very floppity, right? It'll flop all over every way. But if you hang it, hang the mass from the center of lift, the force pushing you up, that's more stable, right? That's how I would explain it. You can get a couple parts out. The issues were reduced. But not entirely fixed. You can get a couple parts out. I don't understand what that that is saying right there. Expend the issues wide wing fracture. You can get a couple cards out. Yeah, and we're only we're only one part out. We're only one part out because this is an entire piece connected directly to that. So we're we're really good to go with the wing flex on this one. Put control surfaces on it to move the center of lift back a bit more. Oh, well, Monev. Interestingly, you just came into the stream. It's moving the center of mass. Must be addressed. I completely agree. I absolutely and positively completely agree. We are off track like crazy right now. We're off track like crazy because right now the plane doesn't have a lot of fuel in it. And right now this is what the plane looks like whenever it doesn't have a lot of fuel in it. This is what we had whenever we got out to orbit. I got you, Northstar. We're on the same page. Um, I, think, I think we're good to go for now. When we got to orbit, this is how much fuel we had. Right? That's a problem. Pump level zero. Pump level... Well, no, no, that's not pump level. Those are all the empties. We had a little bit of there. In fact... That's very interesting. These guys must have just been draining from there, and then they started draining from there. Das Wolf Meat. Nice. This plane needs more space to us. Make both wings and longer. You can line up two to three. Yep. We still, we don't need to worry about that. We need to worry about the fact that after we get defueled, our center of lift is well in front of our center of mass. So how can we fix that? What can we do to fix that? If we had less fuel up there, that makes it worse. So right now, the fact that that fuel was feeding that way and we left all of that liquid fuel up there helped us quite a bit, actually. It actually helped us quite a bit because that fuel that we had up here was actually as a counterweight. If that fuel was empty... We would be way back there. This one right here, that's the same. That's not going to affect it as much because that tank is pretty close to the center of mass. Can you place a ballast weight maybe in the front? Batteries don't add very much. Add more forward control surface. That's not a good idea, North Star. Adding more forward control surface? Let's see what that does. How about some forward control surface? Like the uh, canards, right? That makes our problem even worse. That puts our center of lift even further forward whenever we're low on fuel like this. That is a problem. Maybe we try to be able to brute force it, but really what we want to do, we want to design this plane so that whenever we are low on fuel like this, the center of mass is pretty much the same place. That's what we want to be doing here. So, spamming control, spamming SAS, spamming canards, and that sort of stuff, not what we want to do to fix this. Can't we just use all the fuel equally during the flight? That's in the neutral position. What were you talking about the neutral position? This is not the neutral position. Add more air intake so you have more oxidizer in the front. Das, add more air intake so you have more oxidizer in the front. Air intake so you have more oxidizer? I'm missing that. And so the full tank in front, put in a half-size tank and a docking port thing and add a half tank behind the main tank so the center of the main tank is the center of fuel. I like where Moneva is going. I like where Monev is going, right? I really do like where Monev is going. Um, das, the canard should push the lift back into the plane. Das, you need to move. You need both more forward canard and more rear stationary wing. No, we don't. I really don't think that we need to. I really don't think that that's what we need. I really like where Monev is going, right? I really like where Monev is going. Monev has the right idea. Monev has the right idea. Everybody wants us to spam more control. 
You know, I might as well just like replace these with tons of SAS modules so I can fly straight, right? Or put canards up here, or back here, or whatever. What we want to do is exactly what Brimmer's saying there as well. So, Monev and Brimmer, I'm on the same page with you guys. We need to look at this craft such that as we use that fuel, we don't actually move the center of mass. That's what we want to look at. What can we do to accomplish that? I think one thing we can do is take these pieces right here, this entire wing segment that we have, and move it forward a little bit. Because we actually want... Did I get that right? Not quite, maybe? Not, not quite exactly. That's a lot closer, though. The fuel level is the same, and all I did was move that forward just a little bit. The problem is we have a lot of fuel up here, and as we lose this fuel, it's going to move things around quite a bit. Look at that. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Look, as we use that, it gets back there. As we use that, it gets a little bit behind it. That's not too bad, though. Just moving the wings forward like that. Just moving the wings forward like that helped us a lot. What do you think, Monev? That's not really changing anything. Why? Because that tank's right there on the center of mass. So I'm good to go with that. These guys, they're not going to be eaten from equally. Look at that. That guy still has a lot of oxidizer in it. So those aren't going to drain equally. I wonder... Hmm... I wonder. It's not as good as it looks. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna put it back after we move all these things around. Readjust to the new center of mass, it shouldn't. Move the mass forward, yep, I like it. Death to you and Raptor Cut and Nexus 345, thank y'all for the follow. North Star, I'll say it one more time, I'm not gonna fix this with control authority. I don't want to fix it with control authority. I want the balance of the plane to stay consistent throughout the flight. That's what we're focusing on here. Ah, my canard as well. Thank you. Thank you. It shifted it forward. That's why y'all were telling me that. I appreciate that. I missed that. C. 2x symmetry. It's not bad, though. It's really not bad. With that much fuel mass, you're going to want one much bigger wings. Motive, I agree with that as well. The first thing I said when we took off the runway was that we didn't have enough lift. And we started to say, oh, oh, well, you just need to add more control. Add canards, add all this sort of stuff. So we were able to get it off the runway, but what we really needed was more lift. What we really needed was more lift. You need to extend the rear wings out to make it more balanced. So we would get more lift from the wings is what you're saying, Northstar? Let me know what you're saying. You need to... That's a lot of people that just came in at once. Let's see here. Use the fuel balancing mod. Anthony, I don't want to use the fuel balancing mod. I do have it installed here, but what we're looking at right now, what we're trying to fix... Set moving it forward further, even further. <laughs> gotcha. Monobi. Gotcha. We're on the same page. Um, I don't want to use the fuel balancing mod. You need rear wing area for neutral stability. There's a lot of stuff. It looks like there's a lot of different ways to play... Uh, to make space planes. That lift right there is not too terrible right now. I wonder what it looks like. Let's go through all the different steps here, right? Is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do to... Please try to angle the canards. I'll get to that. Right now we're focusing on the balance. Focusing on the balance. When you have tanks draining unevenly like that, you should look at running internal fuel lines between the tanks to force fuel flow in as you want it. Darth Andrea, what we just looked at was that the fact that... The only reason we were quasi-controllable was because of the way that the fuel was, right? Because of the way we are actually doing the fuel in the first place. That center of mass... Hmm... I wonder... That tank is on the center of mass. This tank up here is full of fuel now. Let's fill the plane up and see what happens. I'm interested to see what happens if we fill the plane up. That's not terrible looking, honestly. That's actually pretty close already. I mean, look, as we do this right now, this is the this is the plane full, and that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, does anybody concur that that right there looks pretty good? Not in terms of total amount of lift, right? But in terms of center of lift versus center of mass with the plane full of fuel. Yes or no, does this look good? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if this looks good. What is this? 
Michael Weston building a space plane? Do I know you? <laughs> huh. It looks good fuel. It's good. You still need to extend the rear section of wings. North Star, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. We're just going to look at the fuel balance. Now let's go ahead and empty it out. Let's go totally empty and see what she looks like. We've got that. We've got that. Chat is off the hook. I really appreciate all the people helping out with this. I'm not frustrated. I'm definitely not frustrated. Now those are empty. Oh, that's okay. They were right on the center of mass anyways. I don't know why I clicked on that one. I knew it was going to be empty. That right there is not so good looking. That right there is not so good looking. Now we've got too much mass in the back and not enough mass in the front. So empty the plane will be very front heavy and want to nose up and flip around and stall, especially when it goes slower, right? So what should we do to fix that? What should we do to fix that? I think part of the problem here is we've got all this engine weight in the back and we have not as much weight in the front. We just have the pod in the front right quick. The fuel tanks to drain from the forward fuel tanks first. Yes, that is North Star. Um, if you weren't here, we actually wrote down what the fuel levels were after we got to orbit. I drew a picture. I mean, I'm not even kidding with you. I'm not even kidding with you. Where's my... Uh, there we go. I'm absolutely not kidding. I drew a picture. I know you can't see it because of the lighting, right? But I drew a picture of the plane and wrote down all the fuel balance. And what we did at first was we actually created the plane and balanced the fuel the way that we had it in orbit. That's. I think that's right where you came in. Um, let's go back to here. There we go. All right. You can extend the neck. That's one thing you could do. You could extend the neck, add more fuel in the front, move the center of lift rearwards, move the center. Oh, but then whenever we're full, it won't be balanced, right? Extend the neck. That's interesting. We need more thrusters. Toss a crew bay in front. Weight from it won't fluctuate much. So, DOS, in space planes, the center of mass will move back as the fuel flows, which makes the craft unstable in reentry because of the wing surfaces. So you need more often pump fuel forward. Darth Andrea, what we're looking at is how can we design a plane where we don't have to worry about that. So the entire title of the stream is Advanced Space Lane Balance, right? And we're trying to design the craft such that the center of lift and center of mass stay pretty consistent throughout the fuel uses. Remove the oxidizer from the central fuel tank. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. I'd put that fuel on the sides of the center mass instead. Interesting. Interesting. So, Old Fart thinks that the fuel tank in the front is a big problem. Let's see. Let's take it off and put it like that. That's not looking too great. I think the fuel tank in the front is actually helping us out a lot right now. Whenever it's full. Because it balances us out. It balances the weight of these engines, right? Those engines are heavy. Having the longer nose like this helps us maintain balance with the engines when that fuel is full or empty. But you're right. Draining that stuff out can be a problem. I wonder... I wonder. I wonder. Let's have a look. This right here is an LFO fuselage, 27330. How much does it weigh? Maybe we can kind of do two things at once. 3.5. How much is just an LF? 3.5 as well. It must just carry a whole heck of a lot more fuel. Yeah, 600 liquid fuel. Interesting. Stabilizes the plane for fuel, but doesn't help as much when empty. You're right, North Star. I do agree with that. So, what I was trying to do, I was trying to see if I could make that a little bit lighter. I wonder... Could we do this? What if when we're full... Hmm, no, that's not going to help us. You're hungry. I don't have anything to eat. I'm going to order pizza in a little bit. I'm reading a lot of stuff here. Chad is going off the hook, and I do want to make sure I do everything. I usually use RCS as it's fairly heavy. Gav, that's an excellent idea. And smallish tanks, just something up to the front. Arcachamp, Arch what's the reason for the different? Those are our circularization engines. Whoa, <laughs> that's a problem. Those, maybe... Nope, that was definitely moving it back, right? Maybe we can solve that with the other pieces. Let's try to do one thing at a time here. Hmm... I wonder, what if we didn't have an engine in the center? Or what if we only had one engine in the center, or something along those lines? Another thing I've done, another thing I've done, right? Is 
You can add a few RCS tags to the neck to add more four weight. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, Doss, first thing is probably to add RCS. Okay, I will agree with that. Let's go ahead and... It was right there, wasn't it? <laughs> I just barely missed it. It is right. Liquid fuel monoprop tank. I like that. Does anybody see what I'm seeing? Does anybody see what I'm seeing with what just happened there? Look at that center of mass and look at this tank. I like that. It's still going to be a problem when this one's full. But if we added more lift to the back, right? If we added more lift to the back, if you place a cargo bay, you'll stretch the forward mass out more. But then Quantitas, um, whenever we whenever we emptied out the front tanks, we may have some trouble. That's also a boatload of RCS. That's so much RCS. 300 monoprop? Huh. We also don't carry any cargo yet. We're not even carrying any cargo yet. And another thing that we could do... I mean, I'm concerned about this, right? Because it isn't on the center of mass. If the plane... If the only fuel in the plane looked like this, right? That would look great. Actually, that's... It's actually not a bad-looking plane that way. But... There's nothing to counteract the weight of those engines right now, right? But at least all the fuel is around the center of mass. We just don't have anything. Well, we need this up there, I guess. So we would have to do something like this. Hey. That's a little bit better. The center of lift is right where we want it, but the center of mass due to all those engines. Do you think maybe we could go... Uh... Do you think... Faded Ginger, I'm seeing you from Spain. Thank you. All right. Drop a cargo bay right behind the cockpit to move the center of it, the COM forward. But Pondafar, if we put a cockpit up there, we're going to have a lot of different... A two, two of the jet engines be puller. Monev, that's a cheaty thing, though. I see you do that a lot, and I think that's very cheaty. <laughs> Induce more upward lift in the back. Das, Darth is right. You need to build bigger wings, not cut out on length. But we're not looking at the lift right now, right? We're looking... We're trying to get the center of fuel on the center of mass right there. And I want less weight in the back. Does anybody think it's a good idea? Add an inline cockpit that'll move the center of mass forward permanently. Why cheaty? Because planes don't do that. That's why. They, like, burn the exhaust onto each other. I wonder. Is there anything we could do... Hmm... Wings will help later when cargo is used. We don't have anything. We don't have anything as cargo right now. In fact, we don't even really have a mission for this plane. Somebody said add a cockpit. Let's let's add the inline cockpit. I'd probably rather add a crew bay. That... Mm, not loving it. You have a COM midway between two fuel tanks and wings have mass. But right now, look, have a look, have a look. Let me put this in and show you what I'm looking at here. Come on. There's a fuel tank. There's a fuel tank. Here's what I'm trying to accomplish. This is what I'm trying to accomplish, right? I want the weight of the engines in the back to be balanced by something in the front. And something somebody said earlier was that we maybe don't need that many engines in the back, which would keep the center of mass from going to the back. So, what should we do to remove these? When we remove these, how can we shift these things? Because I think maybe if we put less engines on there, we would be good to go. Because then we have less weight, right? We could get rid of one engine if we put two of these in one of those. Is there any solution to put two engines? It looks like that. You're right. You're right. In fun, it looks exactly like that. You're, it's exactly what it looks like. I think three engines is enough. I like what Old Fart's saying. Everybody's talking about adding wings and that sort of stuff, but we, we haven't had a really focused view on the fact that we've over-engined this thing. So I totally think that we need to fix these engines first. Let's fix the engines. Um, three. Remove the middle one. 
We could maybe remove the middle one. That would be a little bit less weight. How does that look? Look at what that did. I mean, that's that. And when we put that back there, look at how much difference that one engine makes when we're empty. That's actually not bad at all. That one single engine is... Look how... Look at that. Let's toss that engine. Now let's have a look. Hmm... It needs a little bit more mass in the front. It still has too many engines. I almost think, I almost think, wow. Add extra fuselage and attach two forward swept wings. Wow, this is definitely Twitch. Uh, we need a center thrust engine for final ascent. Pontifar says we need. That's exactly why it was there, Northstar. I like that. I like what people are saying. It's not, keep it. I love it. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do, Northstar. I want to keep the middle engine and get rid of those two. That looks a lot better. And really, I'm referencing this tank. I'm trying to get that yellow ball to the middle of the tank when we're empty. Right? Because all of our fuel... Oops, this guy. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. Okay, so that was still a problem. That was still a problem because I still had that stuff on there. Dang it. What else could we do? What did you do? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you don't need the center engine. You just have to be a good pilot. I'm not a good pilot, Monev. I'll be the first to tell you that. And I need the center engine. <laughs> I need the center engine. I'll, I'll be the first to admit. You will have some centers... A little bit, but you can minimize it, right? In what we're trying to look at in this stream is trying to be able to minimize the amount of shift, right? Because what are some quasi-cheaty ways to do it? Put the engines in the middle, right? So if you put the engines in the middle right there on the center of mass, then you don't have to worry about it. I've seen a lot of space plane designs that do that. I wonder. Nah, that's not going to really look as cool. I don't think that's going to look very cool at all. What if we did this? And I'm, I'm continuing to play around here. Don't do me that way. Come on. Don't make me do the 2 symmetry thing. Gosh, dead believe it. Alright. Well, somebody wanted me to move this around, so let's move it around. Do you see why I had the wings like that, though, right? There we go. C to make them snap. That's why they weren't done correctly. There we go. Okay. What I was trying to do, I was trying to line up. I know people said move it forward, move it back, move it forward, move it back. I was trying to make it so that these fuel tanks right here were also in the center of these fuel tanks. Right? That's what I was trying to do. The rapier should switch to rocket mode before the turbojets deactivate. Ooh, that's definitely going to be a fight in chat. Because some people said we don't want... We don't want the rapiers to switch mode before they deactivate. I don't know which one it's supposed to be, though. What do y'all think? That's still not great, though. We need something else to move our center of mass forward. I wonder. I wonder. You guys can argue over that in chat as to whether or not you want that to activate when these two engines are still burning. Remove the center and attach the engine to its place. Neil Gambit, I'll try it. I'll try that. Not bad. Basically anything we can do to move that stuff up like that is good. But we did unbalance our fuel, but it's not bad because that'll actually pull that out. That's kind of ugly, but you know, what can you do sometimes? Fuel lines. Luis, fuel lines where? Don't just say fuel lines. Why do you want them to go somewhere? Jock59, we're playing with it. We're playing with it. I will say no because you can't throttle them independently. You can, though. Why would you not be able to throttle them independently? I can totally throttle things independently. You just have to be quick at it. <laughs> Theater, I think that when those two stretch, you may have plane spin. Yes. 
If you could swap the Raper and Max Throttle it while the Jets are shipping just a little throttle, then it would make sense. I'll buy that, actually. I will actually buy that. Because if we had a single jet engine in the middle, and these two jets on the outside, I would actually buy that. Because then you could have the jets going, you could have the rapiers going full throttle while the jets were throttled back. Huh. From the rear tanks to the four tanks, it will help alleviate some of the mass shifting issues. To make all the tanks drain at the same time. Theater, that's probably a little bit cheaty. Just spam it with fuel lines so that every tank is connected to everything else. That may be a little bit too cheaty. <laughs> that may be a little bit too cheaty. One turbojet burning at high altitude. You don't have intake air to run more than one at full thrust. Yes, I agree with that. You just need one center turbojet, which you throttle back, DOS. Okay. We, we only really need one turbojet and one uh, of these guys. Dude, only to see what's wrong, do a test run. <laughs> it's hard to throttle back two turbojets at the same time. Not really. It's not really hard to throttle them back because you can totally just kill the throttle, throttle them right quick, and then pull the throttle back up, right? Let's see here. I do kind of feel like we want to start... Fought f I think here's the theory. Here's the thing what's going on, right? I think there's a lot of different ways to solve this. There's a lot of different things we can do. We can do fuel lines. We can put cargo bays in. We can extend the nose. We can de de the nose. We can change the center of mass. We can uh, change the wings around. We can add more wings. We can argue about the fuel, you know, your own way to fly the space plane all day long. I think there's so many different ways to solve this problem. We're actually kind of breaking the method a little bit here because we usually like to go through and read the chat a lot. And it's not really serving us as well right now. Because there's so many different good ideas, but they work against each other, right? They totally work against each other. Let's have a look here. Let me see. One turbojet, two rapier. That's what I think. I need to do some of all of those things. <laughs> Put air intakes on those backward-facing nodes. They will cause no drag. Monev, that's cheaty. You're the space plane cheat extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Here's what I want to do. All right, I'm not going to do that because it doesn't look cool. We still want the plane to look kind of cool at least. I'm going to put one of these because I like that idea. I'm going to change these tanks out because we don't need these two, right? We really just need... Oops, I'm going to have to take that piece off. I'm going to change those out to look like that. Don't do... That's so annoying and I really hope that they fix that. What are you hitting? There we go. So annoying. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. So wait in that. That one's empty. Is that one full? Nope, that one's empty. That one's empty. That I know that the mass... Alright, it's a little bit far back, so we'll fix that. What if there's any way to extend those air intakes out? Huh. Perfect. Yeah, I think, I think, I really like this. I really like this. What's up, Johnny Lowe? How's it going? Luis, I'll look at it. Let me have a look. Most of these ideas are complementary. You mean moving the center of mass forward and moving the center of mass back at the same time is complementary? I don't really get that. I don't really get that. That's just four of those. Oh, that's a docking port in the back. I like that. We always end up with the same space plane design, which is interesting. As far back as possible. Monev, why do we want them to be as far back as possible? Actually, I didn't really look at the uh, at the weight of them. Yeah, they don't weigh... Oh, they rarely weigh anything, so that's not going to help us. Place the middle engine on last. I think we just did that. Adding wing area and extending the nose. Yes, I will agree that some of them may be complimentary. Hmm. It really looks dumb now, though. I wonder. I'm looking at something here.
I wonder if there's something we could do that didn't look too terrible to move the engines closer to the center. Like this. Because that center of mass right there is excellent. You see that? That center of mass is exactly where I want the center of mass to be. That center of mass will make it really easy to balance the plane. I've been missing so many follows. We've been so engaged in this. I am Team Dianite. Welcome. Franklin Clinton for the win. Welcome. M1 Epic. Welcome. Wow, I'm Vexa. Thanks for the follow. Fan216. Thank you. Janus Elver. Ron, death to you, <laughs> Raptor Cut, Nexus, Tachyon Brain. Okay, that's as far back as I remember. That's good. That's good. That's actually not bad. Let's call this a Minmus Crew Transfer SSTO. Echinesis, use the large cargo hold. Uh, but Echinesis, that old cargo hold is empty, right? When you put cargo in it, you're going to mess with the center of mass, aren't you? It's a shame it looks less sexy like that. Deadly Lyoshi. I think we're going to be able to fix that, though. Will that one touch like that? That one won't attach like that. You can't do that. Neither of those adapters will attach like that. Wait a second. Why does it need to be flat, though? I'm just going to keep looking at things, right? We are totally just looking at things. Dude, Flavocoto, Shadow Malt, Jock59, all thanks for the follow. It's like, did we just get raided or something? I don't even know sometimes. I wonder. Wait a second. I've never... I, I'm... Hmm. Just a second. I'm looking for a part. This adapter won't attach the way we want it to. But it might not look too bad. This adapter also... The pants adapter won't attach the way we want it to. Hmm. What if we did something a little bit different than the same exact design that always occurs, right? Ooh, I had it once. Does that look terrible? Where is the this? There we go, dude. Shagsters! Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. That doesn't look bad, does it? Does that look bad? Or use a large tank but keep it empty of fuel. Which one did I put on? It wasn't the pants. It was this one. Are these empty? No, they're not. Let me go ahead and empty them. You're copying your space plane. It really does look cool. Northstar, I'll put more I'll put more stuff on there for you. I'll put more wings and stuff. Strut that and call it good. Just fly it like this, says Pondafar. <laughs> I don't need it to, though. We'll add more lift. We'll totally add more lift. Crew cabins won't. I like that. I like that. That's a good one, old fart. Use the probe core as a side connector, then place adapters to it. That'll work, too. It's like having vertical wings. I know. I do understand it, but we're actually doing something different. We can always add more lift. We can add more wings to it. We can totally add more wings to it. I really wish that there was like a skin or something. There's a lot of lift up in the front now. I wonder if there's anything we can do to make this look awesome. It looks like they're ready to deploy and punch something in the distance. <laughs> I understand. I understand that we're going to lose lift like this. But I also want to make a space plane that is not the same old space plane that's always been made 1800 times. So let's start... Is, are all these empty? Yes. Are these empty? Yes. When we're totally empty with no wings. I've got like all these space plane parts like hanging out. Let's just... Let's just do this. Just toss all this stuff. It wasn't there when we started building it. The question is, are the wings going to attach very well? Who knows? See? Because that right there looks freaking cool. But we could actually use the longer strakes, can't we? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. It's. I wish they had oriented these differently so it was obvious what was going to happen, right? That is not terrible, honestly. 
I'm not hating it. R. Bremer, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Thanks for hanging out. There's not a place back there. Is there not going to be a place that I can actually attach those flat? Or is that the flat spot? No, it's not. But I guess it's okay if they're bent just a little bit, right? It's going to make some things not any fun. It's going to need a lot more lift in the back. It's going to need a whole heck of a lot more wing in the back. So how can we do this? I need to use wings that poke out further. Hey. I really wish you could grab parts by different places. It's so annoying that you always grab the part in the same place. Does this actually work? No matter the direction of those. Okay. Oh, because they, cir they circulate around the center of mass, it looks like. Okay, well, that makes sense then. And I don't mind if they clip through... Hmm, not in love with that idea. It's not bad, honestly. It's honestly not bad. Let's keep adding wings. Is this the big one? Nope, that's not it. Is that the big one? Nope, those are the smaller ones. So this is the confusing direction, I guess. Now we have too much lift in the back, and our center of mass is too far forward. How did our center of mass get too far forward all of a sudden? Oh, because we don't have the engines on. Does that count? I wonder if that counts. Put the very long thing. Now it looks like a bullet that met Iron Man is going to get wrecked. <laughs> what? Try putting Mark 1 tanks on the back of the side tanks and wings on those. Putting Mark 1 tanks. Mark 1 tanks. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Add more wing in the front. Will you get any thrust? Your engines are blocked by wings. I don't know. We're going to find out. We'll see. I Actually, because look at Build Aid, right? Build Aid will tell you that there's actually four centers of thrust there, right? That are not, in fact, blocked by the wing. Build Aid reads the configuration file as to where it's putting the thrust out, and Build Aid is saying that that's not blocked. But we'll have to actually test it. We will have to actually test it. I would actually be okay with that. It looks kind of cool, right? Let's add more wings. <laughs> Still need way more lift. Wings can block thrust. Right, but Build Aid is telling us that there's no thrust going through the wing. Build Aid is telling us that the thrust is going above and below the wing. Who knows, though? Who knows? We'll see. Needs more wings. What's up, Loaded Gun? But expand the wings out. I don't know if I want to extend the wings out. That's kind of like the same old thing that always gets done. Extend the wings out. Um, let me see if I can fix this any. Hey. There we go. I'm not really hating that, but I need something that works up here. It, it's it's a little bothering me that those things don't match, right? That's not the one I want at all. Let's keep adding wings. Because our center of mass dry is exactly right there right now. And it looks pretty cool, too. But we're going to need a lot more wings. I definitely agree we need a lot more wings. A double wing. We're, we're going to go. We're going to go with a double wing. You'll see what I'm going to do in just a second. Oops, let's turn that back on. A triangle double wing. That's that's what I was going to look at, actually. I wanted to do something along these lines. That's not looking great, plus it's clipping like crazy up there. But we could fix that like this, I guess, right? I don't know. I don't know. That is the problem with these things, isn't it? And then y'all are going to scream at me to put canards up there, right? 
That is still flat McCheaterson, which I don't like. And I've got it interesting. Huh. Ah, there we go. That was why. Okay. Now, is there anything... See, the symmetry just doesn't work out this way. That's the problem we're going to have, is that the symmetry just doesn't work out. Um... <laughs> Northstar, you keep saying the stuff that I'm going to do. I'm going to get to that whenever I make the ends look good, right? I'm going to come over here and do this sort of... Come on, grab the part. I'm going to come over here and do this sort of setup. Right? That is exactly what I'm going to do whenever I get the, the outside wings looking good. Don't fret. Don't fret. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Although we're already pretty darn close to what we want... I just, it's just the symmetry. The symmetry just doesn't line up, right? It just doesn't line up. I like what we're going with here. All right. Why did I throw that piece away? <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Is that piece on backwards? Is that why I keep sweeping that way like that? Because I don't really love it. There we go. Aha! There it was right there. Continuing on! It's odd. And then that goes forward too far, I guess, huh? I'm okay with that. It's like a really cool tail. <laughs> Did Northstar just tell me that if I hold shift, he can rotate in five degree increments? <laughs> you're new here, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you're new here, aren't you? You won't actually have to do that because you've got a flat surface to attach it against right here. Watch. If you have this flat surface, which we know to be flat, you can actually just press it once like that and get the flat wings. You don't actually have to do it with the shift rotate if you use the flat surface. If we use some other surface, we will have to use that, but the flat surface I put it on, you don't have to do that. It's all good. It's all good. These point out, they still look ugly. Ooh, ooh, actually. Now if we just do something about the Euclidean... <laughs> Flav Kodo, I don't think you... Yeah, I think you don't understand what's going on. I don't think you understand what's going on here. The center wing should also be double. There's a couple things we could do. There's a couple things we could do. That's not it. These are going to be too big if we go from the center. Maybe not. Let's see. That is interesting. I've never noticed that they don't rotate correctly if you put them in the center. Huh. Who knew? I almost wish we had four of those other engines. Not, not a bit bored, just saying. <laughs> if you don't want wider wings, making double wings is one. I know. I know. Just fly it. Don't teach anymore anything. Don't teach ever. Don't let people figure out how to play the game. Just shut up and fly it, Doss. Then I'll just go boom headshot everybody too. <laughs> I am just giving you giving you a little bit of trouble there. But we're doing Kerbal Space Academy right now. We really need... That was actually not bad. That was really close. That was really close. But now attach a wing to each... End of that wing and angle it back towards the center. Do you want to build this? What? Northside, just go build the plane. <laughs> Put a triangle. Ooh, I like what Fear One said. I like what Fear One said. I really do like what Fear One said. Um, this is such a cosmetic thing, right? This is such a cosmetic thing. That's the small delta wing. Here's the delta wing. 
Ooh, actually. <laughs> this is honestly getting a little ridiculous at this point. <laughs> is that enough lift? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Will that make it to orbit with no payload whatsoever? Put some cool flames on the side. It's starting to look like a Romulan warbird. <laughs> Can you explain that the stream is about learning a good way? Yeah, we really are. We, we're we really looking at a lot of different ways to do it. We really are looking at a lot of different ways to build these planes, Flavicoto. And uh, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is there's so many different cool ways to do it. There's a lot of different people who have different opinions, right? And I totally don't get mad at that. I love that so many people are giving me ideas. And it's a shame that I can't do every idea, right? Kelly Johnson is rolling over in his grave. No, needs more lift. Maybe it's time to fly it now. I don't really like this. I don't really like that. Let me see if I can't put these on straight. That's Clippy McClipper Town right there. I could almost get away with. <laughs> is that not enough lift for you? Space Academy is much more artistic. <laughs> Dude, Arca Champ. Kerbal Fashion Academy is about half of what I do here on the stream. I'm always doing Kerbal Fashion Academy. Make the rear of those two wings straight and then add another triangle to the end. <laughs> <laughs> that might fly on a single ion engine. On the yeah, you're right. <laughs> on the bright side, that center of mass is almost right in the center. I'll sleep like a baby tonight. I love it. Let's just fly it. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I just want to fly this craft. <laughs> I don't like that these stick out, and I don't like that those are the clippiest things since clipping came to Clip Town. Right? You see that? I don't like that as much. <laughs> those are a little bit too far forward. Add some elevons. Ooh, that is going to be a problem. Ooh, that's going to be a big problem, adding elevons. Dad, blame it. My space plane is rocking. What if we just... How much lift does this piece have, and can I just spam other lifty McPeacersons? Hang on. Sir Curdle, thank you for the follow. That took out a lot of lift, didn't it? That really would have taken out a lot of lift. And I almost feel like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I really, I'm, I mean, I'm having fun doing this, guys. I hope y'all are having fun. If you're not having fun, I don't know what to tell you. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is kind of how we do it. <laughs> should I put the same wings on the bottom, I wonder? I should stop asking anything, because then I get a hundred different questions. A <laughs> hundred different items. All right, that's nobody needing me. There's not going to be a place to put wheels in the back, either. This will be awesome. This will be awesome. <laughs> Doss, what have you done? Move the square wing boards to the inclined bits. <laughs> what? Oh, move the square wing boards to the inclined bits? Alright, I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's make a hole. <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun doing this. I know that it may not be for everybody, but now it's going to look like a stupid frisbee or something if we do this. <laughs> I've, I've ruined it. I'm not I'm not really feeling this right here, honestly. <laughs> Move the square wing boards to the inclined bits. <laughs> oh, nope, that's different symmetry. I'm hitting something else it looks like. It really gets on my nerves sometimes the way that that is. I don't know. I kind of liked it the other way. <laughs> it already looks like that. It already looks like what? I don't even think anybody knows what this looks like anymore. <laughs> it's not done yet. Well, why don't you go build the plane, North Star? <laughs> Time out. We require. How am I getting follows doing this? <laughs> this is nuts. I'm glad you guys are as crazy as me. <laughs> Now add wing tips. Oh, that's going to be so ugly. Add wing tips? No, I don't like that. 
That's gonna be ugly at wingtips. The, ugh. There's not a lot of fashion happening here. That looks like something that a kindergarten who didn't know how to make paper airplanes made. <laughs> Just like, I made a paper airplane! And it doesn't fly very well. <laughs> you think it looks awesome. That's awesome. Chat. <laughs> it looks like an Oreo cookie reject. <laughs> it looks terrible. It looks terrible. It still needs... <laughs> it looks like a butterfly going through a cheese grater. Oh my gosh. It's not really a KSA bill. It <laughs> Until somebody demands underglow. No IO. What color underglow should this be? No IO. Let me know. Oh my gosh. A butterfly going through a cheese grater. <laughs> Have you tried adding more struts? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm laughing my freaking rear end off over here, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this. Valdez has idea. Guys, with all the follows, dude, Worldvert, Vexexy, It's Matthew, Zero Sound EXE, Doomsday, who else? Jock, Omogralu, Five Duck, Bacon Sauce, that sounds delicious, Lowplop89, Sir Curdle, thank y'all for the follow. Welcome to Kerbal Whatever Academy. I don't even know what we're doing anymore. I don't even know what we're doing anymore. Need lower wings as well. And tilt them to meet the ends. Time out. I'm gonna do a thing. And y'all are gonna chill out while I do a thing. <laughs> Because this is hilarious. X. Nope. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're not going to be able to get it straight through the center of the engine. <laughs> That's actually terrible that we're not going to be able to get it through the center of that engine. I'm saddened. I'm saddened. I mean, the wings, it looks like it's got eyeshadow on. <laughs> Red underglow using green lights. <laughs> I'm like losing it here, guys. I'm freaking laughing. I'm inspired. That's actually kind of cool now. <laughs> Those wingtips being at a slightly different angle is actually kind of cool. Maybe we'll like make them tilt down. I am losing my mind. I am. I am. And what I wanted to do was come down here, right? And then do the same thing. Come on. Need to get underneath it. Oh man, we are Kerbal Fashioning Academy this out the wazoo tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's not it, is it? No, it's not the same. It's tilted a little bit. Can't get to it the right way. Oh, good night, Irene. Nope. Ay, yeah, yeah. That gets on my nerves so much when things won't be the same on the top and the bottom. And I can't get it back far enough because of those stupid parts. What is it doing now? Alright. I got this. I got this. I know what I'm doing. On occasion. All right, so forward some. It's like you need 4x symmetry for this nonsense. That's very weird. Does that look okay? Lord knows I shouldn't ask y'all. We're going to have way too much lift now. <laughs> We're going to have freaking lift for days now. Super sweet. <laughs> it does look super sweet. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna lie about how super sweet it looks. We're getting there. We're getting there. You can't see. Wait to see this on the airstrip. <laughs> Won't let the plane lift from the runway. We'll see. We'll see. This will be interesting, Monev. This will be interesting. If anything, it won't be as crazy as the stuff you design. <laughs> Alright. Now these parts look dumb. Hey, I'm trying to throw that piece away. Too much lift? <laughs> And tilt the wingtips together. That's <laughs> that's what I was gonna try to do. But what I, I actually wanted to do this. Look, hang on, hang on a second. What? We're so far off the freaking track right now. <laughs> we are not doing anything that even slightly resembles what we were supposed to be doing. But it looks cool. I'm not gonna. I... Did you know that trick? That if you do this, you can actually use 2x symmetry to put things on the top and the bottom. Did you know that? Did you? Did you? Well. Oh, man. <laughs> They're swept too much. Dad, blame it. That's not what I was looking for at all. Now I wanted them to be the other way. But they're swept too much. See, I wanted them to come down and not touch the engine, but that looks totally stupid, honestly. Also, the plane is upside down, apparently. <laughs> Should we just start spamming control surfaces and call it a day? <laughs> Fly it! It looks good enough! My pizza arrives and suddenly the plane looks epic. If you press shift and click on any part, you can select the whole... That's what I just did. That's what I just did. Yes, that, that's what I was doing when I moved it around. Thank you, though. <laughs> this craft looks... I don't even know war damage. I mean, there's so many people. <laughs> this thing no longer has an upside down. There are so many people saying, like, do this, do that, do the other. I think I'm just going to toss control surfaces on this and call it a freaking day, honestly. Because it is about that time. <laughs> Wow, that's not going to work at all. Look. It also has no fuel in it. Hmm. And that's backwards as well. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> We're going to die. Private Hudson. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> There's no way this is ever going to work. <laughs> And those are tilted like crazy. I thought I had them, but I did not. Oh, no. Because it's a tilt and a tilt, we're not going to be able to do it. We'll never be able to get those things straight, right? We have two tilted parts. And that's going to be a huge problem. Oh. That actually doesn't look too bad. I think we'll just go with it. All right. Needs control surfaces. You require additional control surfaces. <laughs> nope. Where are the long ones? Aren't there long ones somewhere? Ward Amiibo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. We've been playing uh, Twitch Plays Das Valdez here for a while. I honestly don't know how to make these look right. Hmm. Seems legit, doesn't it? We're not going to have any vertical control. <laughs> Let's just fly this thing. You must construct additional control surfaces. <laughs> Plus, we don't have enough lift in the back because we took those other delta wings off. We're definitely going to have to do that. Let's just pretend that that's not going to cause a huge freaking issue and call it a day. <laughs> we are so... We are the spammiest thing since spam came to Spamville right now, y'all. <laughs> I'd, I'd hate for it to fall on me backwards because it would stab you hard. Alright, maybe instead of that, maybe we just put these on here, right? 
Are these the biggest control? Those are teeny. These are bigger-esque. I will say that I am no EJSA. I am not the controlliest thing since control surfaces came to control sound. Add a dorsal battery! <laughs> two! How about two dorsal batteries? <laughs> done! Gav, done! Alright. It looks like the craziest stack of pancakes ever. You require additional pylons. Alright. Last thing I'm gonna let chat participate in ever. <laughs> Next we got AMC's DOS Space Academy flight. <laughs> Last thing I'm ever gonna ask chat. Oh, that looks fantastic. Ah, oh, it's not gonna reach! Dad, blame it. I was hoping that would reach, but that's not gonna reach. Shucks! And darn, and other things. I wanted some. I wanted some uh, vertical control, right? Box it in or no? Box it in or no, chat? Box it in or no? Those look like they should fold. Ah, I think the only thing we're gonna be able to do is, uh, hmm. <laughs> How many people are watching this stream right now? <laughs> Never asked 250 people what they want at the same time. One from top, one from bottom. I'm so mean. I haven't. I haven't. But you will read chat next stream guaranteed. Oh my gosh. How to use the parts catalog mod so you can tell me how to install it. I can't seem to get it to work. If you come to Kerbal Help Desk, I'll help you with that one. Das, tilt them to eat each other. Yep, I got it. Boxes would improve y'all. But see, North Star, the tilt is not what I want. The tilt is not what I want. I want horizontal. I want vertical things. <laughs> I don't want that though. I want it to be flat. I don't want them to be like this. Wait, there we go. I vote for whatever makes it fly. See, you you see this all the time. This has been done so many times. This is what you see all the time in Kerbal Space Program. So many freaking times. It's so formulaic. It just is what happens, and it didn't get me any control surfaces at all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This plane deserves a rudder. <laughs> Let's just make it fly. I'll do this. <laughs> Everybody and their dog has done this move. Remember, one of the rules on my channel is that if you Google it and it comes up as having been done before, it's not really what I want to do. There. Make it veto compatible. Put one shark fin down the main tank. <laughs> Wait, let me mark the dorsal side. Okay. <laughs> Where's the wing strake? <laughs> nope, looks dumb. I mean, if we were to put something, it would have the smallest rudder ever. I wonder if we could fit one of those on the bottom. Remember, it doesn't have any fuel in it either. Ooh, it looks like it'll fit, and it looks like we'll tear it off whenever we land. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Forget it. Forget it, yo. We're just going to see if it flies. And we've, look, I mean, we've added so many stupid parts. Look where the center of lift is now. I mean... No, we totally screwed it up by adding all this junk to it. The center of lift is so far forward now. Mm. Look at the thing's shadow. <laughs> it looks very confusing, Mono Bobby. I don't like those downward tilting things. It does. Yeah, we're just gonna have to turn, and I don't care if it doesn't have a rudder. It looks less ugly that way. Dude, Northstar, I think you need to buy KSP and build some planes or something. It looks like a Lodestar. Ooh, this would actually make it look less terrible. Not really, I guess. That's our tail. Our control surfaces in the back are our tail. <laughs> Scrap the whole thing. <laughs> I'm still having fun. 
Dust, control surface is on the rear. Dust, needs a sanity check. Dust, needs a fuel. Dust, fuel it and check center of mass again. Dust, do this. Dust, do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's add some fuel to it. Woohoo, center of mass didn't change at all. Woohoo, center of mass barely changed when we did those. Woohoo, center of mass went backwards a little bit, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't even have a docking port. Center of mass went back to the front again. Ooh, yeah, girly, look at that. Did we fuel everything? Who knows? <laughs> that is actually pretty cool if we just had to lift a little bit further back. Um, somebody toss War Damn Eagle a demo. War Damn Eagle, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know what to do with this. I don't even care anymore. DOS needs something. Drink DOS. <laughs> hey chat. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I'm having fun. It's hilarious looking at the very least. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to fly or not, but it looks hilarious. And really at the end of the day, if that's all you've got, you just roll with it. We really need like the entire back of the plane to be control surfaces. <laughs> Pac-Man, Zero San EXE, Jumil, Austin the Freshest, War Damn Eagle, all thank you for the follows. Thank you for the follows. But a battery on the front to shift. <laughs> I need some entertainment. Time out. Just chill out for a second, chat. Just chill out for one second. I need some entertainment. I need some entertainment. Thanks, Voss. I don't know who you're thanking in my channel. It's Voss. But Blaze Pentium also not free, but typing sale. Blaze Pentium, thank you. All right, throttle up, panel lock. We didn't even turn our engines on. Let's just turn everything on. We didn't spam intakes yet either. We're definitely going to need to do that. I wonder if we're getting thrust from these. I'm just going to assume yes. I don't think it's ever going to take off. Oh, it wants to turn when I want to pull up. It just wants to turn. Well, luckily we have a sweet ramp here. We totally have a sweet ramp to get me into sky. Heck yeah. What's up now? It's gonna crash. Barrel roll for you shutting up. You can't even do a barrel roll. It doesn't have enough control. <laughs> you didn't know. I, I get it. You didn't know that I had a sweet ramp at the end of my runway. But it's flying. <laughs> Watch it goes to orbit on the first try. It doesn't have enough air intakes, too. There's no freaking way. <laughs> I love it. Can it fly backwards? Probably. <laughs> I mean, base. <laughs> Drink. I do. Dude, you're not even kidding. I crashed onto it on purpose to make a sweet ramp for space planes like this that need to take off. That's what I did. <clears throat> I need to blow up more of the runway. Fear none, kill all. Seriously, RIP Kerbals, they look fine to me. <laughs> they totally look fine to me in <laughs> the sweep barrel roll. We have like almost no, well, here we go. You shut your mouth. That was an awesome, awesome barrel roll. I'll have you know. I don't even know what else to tell you. I don't even know what else to tell you. You know there's a reason why everyone builds the same space plane. You're right, you're right. It is an air breathing mode. Dude, this guy. I can't wait. I can't wait until we get asymmetric thrust and we go through the upper atmosphere like a freaking shuriken. <laughs> Dr. Pepper hype, y'all. This is way too much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. It needs more thrust. It really does feel like it needs more thrust. These... We may need to add some fuel lines in. I'm getting the impression... I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> you did it. I bowed to your thing's barrelness. That's right, Monobaba. <laughs> Bow before <laughs> this plane's awesome -osity. Whoa! <laughs> that was loud. Did these go? Who was that? 
Everything's so good. 501 for getting it to the runway. <laughs> Pondafar. With a $5 donation for getting it to the runway. I appreciate you, Pondafar. We did, in fact, get it to the runway. We did, in fact, get it to the runway. I love it, though. What's my horizontal speed? 40? I'm about to just kick on the freaking rapiers and call it a day. <laughs> Let's just go. Good job, Cadet Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze Pentium Fear none kill all candy lover Thank you so much Northdark does it look like I need to worry about my intake air I didn't even think it was going to get off the runway Much less anything else Uh oh we're going back down Should have been paying attention instead of worrying about my intake air And other such nonsense Air breathing still You need to go vertical please I know you're still gaining speed, but you need to go vertical. Come on, girly. Pull it back up, girly. 2-4. That's okay. I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. No, it's not. <laughs> you want to fly this ship? Well, you can't. You could. I'll, I'll, I'll upload it to download if we can ever make it go. It's not time for rocket mode in North Star, really. Um, you have to remember that there's a big stream delay, so I don't see what you see, or you don't, I don't see what you're talking about until 20 seconds after it actually happens. <clears throat> I don't see what you're talking about until 20 seconds after I actually do it, because I stream it, it goes to you, and then 20 seconds later, you comment on it, and it instantly comes back to me. So, uh, whoa! Yeah! <laughs> This is the coolest plane ever. This is totally the coolest plane ever. I mean, I don't even know what to say about it, except that it's cool. And and it's ever. I have to manage this. I have to keep going up higher. That one flamed out first, which was amazing. What mode are these guys even in? Air breathing still. That's a little weird. That's not what I would expect at all. <clears throat> as long as I've got two rapiers full throttle in air breathing mode, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> the sparkles <laughs> were awesome is what the sparkles were. I need to get up higher. I need to get up higher and get into thinner atmo. I need to get up higher. Um... The rapier do not need to go into rocket mode until they start to fail. So when I throttle them down to half, when I throttle them down to half, I will be fine. What do you mean they're not full throttle? I'm running full throttle right now, aren't I? Rocket mode has purple exhaust. All right, all right, excellent. Let's get ready to look so good. As long as, I, as long as I'm accelerating, I'm fine with it. As long as I'm accelerating, I'm fine with it. There was that. Relight for me? Relight? Did I get a relight? Yeah, I got a relight. Okay, it relight before. There's no freaking way. <laughs> There's absolutely positively no way that this should have happened. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way whatsoever that this should have ever happened. But we can definitely get this thing into orbit. <laughs> There's just no way. What I should do now is I should shut off the two rapiers. I should try to relight the other guy, see if he has enough thrust. We didn't even spam intakes enough. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> 
The Kerbals are dancing with me. Dance party, me and the Kerbals. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> We could have done better. If we had some action groups, we were able to more efficiently modulate our thrust and our engines and that sort of stuff. We've could, we could have done a lot better. We absolutely could have. We absolutely could have done a lot better. Oh, cabin lights. Thank you. Remember, this plane is only fuel. <laughs> it has no mission whatsoever. It's only fuel. But you know something? Ye of little faith. What are you even looking at? My Apoaps is 71.9. 71.9 right now. My app apps is not below 70k. It's 71.9. 71.88, 71.7. It's coming up in three minutes. Are you looking at the same channel? Are you watching a different channel than me? <laughs> Everybody should have danced. Almost. Okay. Thanks for the correction. Getting to orbit is easy. Landing that pile of unstable wing nightmare. <laughs> unstable wing nightmare. Look, we're carrying a lot more oxidizer than we need to carry. Y'all see that? We're carrying a lot more oxidizer than we need to carry. We're also carrying monoprop, which is unnecessary weight right now. Electric charge is a problem. We didn't even put that stuff on there. Different channel. Different channel. Okay. <laughs> you need a little high for... <laughs> oh my gosh, this dude! <laughs> this dude. This dude. North Star, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being my channel. I'm having fun. I think it's hilarious. There's no way I can keep up with everything you tell me to do. <laughs> but I do appreciate you being here. I'm having fun. The fact that you're like going off the chain with all this stuff. Yes! 0.1 kilonewtons of thrust! Hooray! <laughs> the fact that you're going off the chain with all of this is hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> And I do appreciate you for contributing to my stream because I am having fun with this entire shenanigan. I hope other people are having fun with the shenanigan. I don't even know what to tell you. Zing! What did I do? Seven five? I don't need to. I could. I don't even need. To, I could do six nine five and I'd be fine. Whatever. Let's do it live. And all I see is Star Wars. I don't know what this has to do with a space plane, at all. Look how much liquid fuel our main engine has. Our liquid fuel has our main engine has so much liquid fuel. It's almost completely full. It was draining it from the side tanks apparently. I'm actually not in hate with that at all. I'm not in hate with that. It was it was so much fun. I mean it was fun. We had some tense moments. <laughs> but hey, hey. Barrel roll salute for everybody who hung in there through that build. Good job, cadets. <laughs> I do appreciate everybody hanging out. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Now, it's just too bad that this plane has absolutely no mission. But look at how much extra Delta V in terms of fuel we're carrying. We're carrying so much fuel. I almost think that we could replace this with a large docking bay. We'd never get the plane back together. Is fuel. Just add docking ports and use them to fuel up other stuff. You're new to my channel, so I'll give you a little bit of uh, leeway there. I don't need space planes to fuel up things in space. <laughs> it's, it's a waste of my time. I've got ways to fuel up things in space. And flying it up in a space plane is not it at all. <laughs> Change the middle part of the plane. Stone a lot. Uh, that's really what I was thinking. This part here with the cargo bay, that would really be an amazing plane. It's just a cargo bay. It would really be really cool. I was cooking and I missed the takeoff, but I heard it. <laughs> Houston, this is the multi-wing Oreo plane requesting clearance for landing. Atomic Kitty, you're not even kidding. <laughs> it's going to be a two-second burn. We got going so fast. So fast. And let me do this. Let me stage these engines. How much Delta V do we actually have? 418 meters per second. So I can deal with 418 meters per second. I can, there's, there's some stuff that we could do with, I could rendezvous with basically anything in LKO with 418. Plus, we kind of did screw around a little bit there, and we'll be a lot more efficient whenever we actually have, uh, 
I love how the rear landing gear are actually hidden behind the intakes. Anyways. Anyways. Crafts. Nightbot? Kadriel, you're right. You're absolutely right. On the outside, you can get... Yeah, I agree. If we added more control surfaces... I really wish that I had a control surface that was half this distance, right? That would be really amazing. That would be really amazing. But what I want to do, I do want to circularize this guy. We're going to see if we can land it at the KSC. I am going to try that. I will try to land this puppy at the KSC. <laughs> at the KFC. There's an orbit. That's why the camera changes. Did you know that? The camera changes when you get into orbit. Baby Dave! Blaze Pinium. I think I already did Blaze Pinium. Yeah, I did. Baby Dave. You're very special because no one else has followed in quite a while. So, and Bolton 13. Guys, thank you both for the follows. We're girls, you know. It's all good. We don't even have lights. Underglow. I apparently have to figure out how to get green underglow using pink lights or some nonsense like that. I panic at the runway. <laughs> good job, Draken. What did Draken say? Draken. What did Draken say? I don't know who that is. But congratulations. What is the chat next to the craft? It's you, Golden Peach. It's you chatting. It's you chatting. It is chat. <laughs> It's just, it's just another random channel's chat that I'm broadcasting on my stream just to confuse everybody. <laughs> Folks, we're in orbit. F5 because we're awesome. Screenshots for safety. Let's go uh, cinematic mode here. Screenshots for safety. This is what you get when you spam wings. <laughs> this craft looks ridiculous, honestly, but I like it. I'll take it. How do you get fuel to orbit? All at once. All at once is the only answer I have for you there. How did this plane get a more circular orbit than an actual rocket from yesterday? It's kind of insane. <laughs> We're not even done yet, y'all. It's only 10 p.m. It's only 10 p.m. I do have a long way to go. Yeah, no worries, baby Dave. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me check a thing. Hey, that's me. What's up, Doss? I can actually see myself looking at myself. This craft is the flying. This craft is in the orbit. In the orbit, tie-dye. In the orbit. Wow, I bet you I missed so much stuff from chat. <laughs> I'm not sure what this taught us about balance, but maybe mental balance. No! No IO! This craft is built around these tanks in the center. The craft is totally built around the tanks in the center. And in order to balance it... Remember, when it's absolutely empty, it's still balanced. That's what we were trying to do. When it's absolutely empty, it's still balanced. So we're going to burn a little bit more. It's still going to burn a little bit more. But. But. <clears throat> excuse me. Ow, that hurt. What was I even going to say? I can't even remember what I was going to say now. I was going to say something. Now I can't remember. Definitely not cost effective, Doss. Space planes are cheap. You get 100. Do I play career mode? <sighs> North Star. Time is money, and wasting your time flying space plane fuel into orbit is a big old waste of money. I fly a lot of fuel into orbit at once. <laughs> because my time is valuable. My time is valuable. Winged Majesty. Oh no, Luis, what have you been working on? Shout out to Croatia, Antony. Shout out to Croatia. Greetings. <laughs> nice, Luis. That's mostly fuel, it looks like. But I like it. That is a winged... Are there Kerbals in there somewhere? I see one pod. I see the weird-looking front, which has been put on there for some reason. That's awesome, Luis, though. You have a thread on the forums. I'll have a, I'll have a look at it. I, I won't be able to look at it right now, but I have a look at it right now. That's not the right thing, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the right thing. <laughs> I'm just going to toss that out there. <laughs> there we go, open link. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. And everything. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? What did I just miss? Have you loaded the save that has the asteroid in your carbon or something else? Maybe that's what we'll do next. Maybe we'll go after those asteroids next. It is time. Say. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that. Yabate? <laughs> I have no clue. What is that? Japanese? Dust flew a pancake into orbit. <laughs> Alright. Let's go for the deorbit. 
We have way too much fuel, and we need fuel lines. We would have, look how much Delta V we would have right now. We would have so much Delta V. We need less oxidizer and more liquid fuel in one place. What is that? That's like way over the amount of oxidizer we need. Let's see here. Hmm. Northstar, I'm not going to suggest your next mission plan. I'm going to come to your house and yell in your ear for like five hours as to what you should be doing. And every time I'll be like, Northstar, you should totally build a rover that also has a plane on it. Northstar, you should build a plane on top of the plane that you built on the rover. Northstar, no, no, angle it this way. Northstar, you should totally put fuel lines. Northstar, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Das overdoses on lift and gets lucky. I'll take it. I'll take it. Das overloads on lift and gets lucky. I will take it. Hey, whatever, man. <laughs> I will totally take it. Does that see our message 10 seconds after we post it and it shows us in the stream 10 seconds later? No, it's, it's 40 seconds, actually. I see it as soon as you post it. Sorry, it's 20 seconds. I see it as soon as you post it, and then I reply to you, and you see it 20 seconds later. I see the chat in real time. You hear me. You hear me. To, at your house? You want to see North Star's ideas? Nice. Well, that's okay. What ideas? I mean, I'm going with this. That's that's the idea is that I'm going with this. <laughs> All right. I'd pay to see the harassment of North Star. He really did earn it. He earned some serious DOS harassment this evening. <laughs> Good times. All right. There we go. Second that proposal. I want to see a plane rover plane. <laughs> <laughs> plane rover plane. Yes. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Atmospheric trajectories engage. Love it. Okay. We're going to come on around the mountain until we're right there at the apple peri apps. The apple peri. Does it, who, raise your hand if you think that they should have a special icon for space planes. Instead of it just being a ship, there should be a special icon for space planes. We'll get squad on the horn. You want me to call them? We'll talk to squad. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think that's a little bit above my prey grade, honestly. There's almost no way that I can keep up with chat with this many things. <clears throat> d -d 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 terrain frame rate issue. Quiet Ghost, there was definitely something to do there. Um, there's a post on the forums that says what to do there. Absolutely. But I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I do apologize for that. I saw it a long time ago. Nightbot, good job for Nightbot should have reward the banana stickers. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. All right, let's go back to the KSC. <clears throat> I love the atmospheric trajectories mod. With now, with one thousand percent more DOS harassment. All right. Bing. North, we need to burn normal up. It has Delta Pancakes. I love it, Tie-Dye. I love it. <laughs> it has Delta Pancakes. Alright, that's always a problem, but we just have to deal with it. Burn to the north, my good friend. Burn to the north. Okay, okay, Dr. Jones. You cheat! You cheat! <laughs> love that movie. I really do love that movie. It's a good movie. Alright. That looks good, and then we'll see if it will fly at all. It'll see if it'll fly at all. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to change the fuel around at all. I'm not going to change the fuel around at all. Dark Black Templar, thank you for responding to my tweet, Black Templar. I'm going to give Black Templar a huge shout out. I sent a tweet out earlier, and I said, hey, come over if you want me to start the stream early. The first person in was Black Templar, and I totally appreciate him. Thank you so much, Black Templar. Get some sleep. We will catch you later. All right, this thing looks like it's gonna kill somebody when it lands. Your short round impersonation is perfect. <laughs> oh, buddy! All right, my short round impersonation is perfect. He not mad. He crazy. <laughs> oh boy, that sounds nothing like him. <laughs> Let's see if, with absolutely no control authority, I'm not gonna change it at all. I'm not gonna change it at all. In fact. I really wonder if I should just have this one engine on. I don't need these anymore. I really do want something to toggle all these things, right? It's 3 a.m. I've got work in the morning. i got to say ta-da and good flying dust. Rooney, you are correct. Welcome to Kerbal Cheat Academy or Kerbal Get Lucky Academy. 
Actually, I bet you some people would come to that, to Das Valdez's Kerbal Get Lucky Academy. <laughs> Excelente. Thank you for hanging out, though. I really, I mean, sometimes it's like, I can't say enough to everybody who's hanging out. Hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Oh, yeah, F5 before landing. Thanks, Scarlet River's got my back. Guys, you should probably give Scarlet River a follow as well. I can't say that he yells as loud as I do when he streams, but I follow Scarlet River and I like to hang out on his channel on occasion. In fact, every now and then he lets me get on TeamSpeak with him and yell at him, just like, <laughs> just like Northstar's been yelling at me. Northstar, are you aware that I'm 10 years older than you? <laughs> 10 years older than Northstar. Wow, I'm old. Hot diggity dog, though. Get Lucky Academy. <laughs> You're right, Mona Bobby. That's why. That's what. That's what I was saying. Get Lucky Academy. Das is up a little like to get lu lucky. What does Flav Cotto even want? I never see anything that he's saying or she's saying that is something to answer. But there was something where they were quite mad, actually. Oh, electric charge is running out. Oh no! <laughs> that's not good. We're going to have to turn off the SAS or something. We don't even have electric charge on this. What is what does Flav Kato even need? Um, Flav Kato, I'll be happy to answer you, but I didn't see anything that you did using DOS or question. And I did see some people telling you that, and I was waiting for something to pop up. But I never saw anything that you needed me to answer. Um, I do like to... I mean, I'm not, I'm not ignoring you. I do like to answer people. But I don't understand what the question is. I don't understand what the question is. I mean, I'm looking, and I don't see anything. In fact... There it is. Good job. That's the weirdest looking... Okay. Cool. Thank you, Flevkato. I appreciate that. Give me an old good job cadet next time. Alright. We almost need to, like, disable the SAS. And just use the control surfaces now. Yeah, the jet engines, they have alternators on them. You can see that they have alternators on them. These guys don't, I believe. Yeah, they don't. But these guys do have alternators on it. The plane is still going to be stupid heavy. The plane is definitely going to be stupid heavy. We may have to do a uh, an orbital pitch maneuver here, an or a de-entry, a re-entry split S sort of deal. Such aerodynamics, though. I should just flip over right now and like do a sweet roll. Because with a flying effect, I'm not going to, uh... Maybe if I dive more? No, 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 no. Look, I still have control authority, which is amazing. Huh. Even, like, going flat into the wind like that, or flat into the orbit like that. Now it wants to flip around or something. It just wants to dive straight down, apparently. Okay, well, that's that's a thing, apparently. Why is my control upside down? That's weird. I love it! Yes, fly everywhere. Fly everywhere. It's just falling out of the sky. It's basically just falling out of the sky. There we go. It's way too back heavy. What do we need to do? There's no way that I can actually look at it, but I could F5. It's way too back heavy right now. It needs more weight in the front. Okay, now it's apparently leveled off. It needs more weight in the front right now. So where are these engines empty? That's got an oxidizer. Those are empty. All right. So what we can do is maybe send fuel lines to those things in the front, right? If we send fuel lines to those things in the front... Maybe we'll be in better shape. Because right now we need the weight in these, and we don't need the weight in the back, is what I'm going to say. That's also using that, yeah. See how it keeps nosing up, right? You see how it keeps nosing up? That's a problem. So this specific, look. Alright, that's a weird use case. It needs the weight in those, I think. When it was empty, the center of lift was way ahead of the center of mass? When it was empty? We'll see. I don't know. This plane has no control right now. 
We could cheat if... Why does it keep flipping like that? That's actually awesome. I totally meant to do that, by the way. <laughs> hmm. This is going to be hilarious, by the way. I require control, please! Burn all that fuel out of those stupid tanks. Thank you, so that I can fly better. <laughs> Alright. We need to see here. Alright, there's the runway. But we can't control this plane at all. So right now, with that tank half empty, and our end tank's totally empty, I believe. Yeah, there's just some liquid fuel in the back. This plane is not particularly controllable. So it needs more control surfaces. Spin stabilize. It definitely needs more control surfaces. Because see how I have not a lot of roll control right now? That's a problem. I need to be able to make the craft not roll. And right now, we are definitely way front heavy with basically this stuff all full and those empty. It, def it definitely needs more control surfaces. It does need more control surfaces. <laughs> it's like so close. It's so close. <laughs> it almost has no control surfaces. It needs more SRBs. I'll, I'll allow that. These pilots, they don't even know what's going on yet. It's just going to fly straight up, apparently. We need a chute. We don't like chutes. Space planes don't have chutes. That might be the end of it right there. No? And I did say that I would not... Uh... There we go. Come on. Just don't point down and you'll, you won't die. Nope, this is a cliff! Ah! <laughs> so what did we learn? We need more control services. And let's go check the center of mass with that. Will it blend debris? <laughs> it actually looks like the blade of a blender. So, so, we definitely could have, let's, let's try something here. Let's try something. I've got an idea. Why is my, is my game crashed? No. Okay. Oh, and I have to be in a launch scene in order to do this. That's annoying. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. The Epic Six. Gosh, I can't load up the Epic Six and show you how to take fuel into orbit. 12-pack <laughs> launcher. What should we just load up right now? Go to moon now, Das. <laughs> the Bacon Station Fuel Core. <laughs> Epic One. Here we go. The Epic 1.5 automated fuel drone. Let's load that up. Drink. Scar. Thank you. We are going to F9. We're going to see if we can balance this. We're going to see if we can balance it. Think about how burning fuel moves your center of mass. Yes. Tie-dye. That's exactly what we were doing. That's exactly what we were doing. That's how I get fuel into orbit when I'm not in a very big hurry. <laughs> it delivers two full of the largest tank in the game to orbit with meters per second to spare. That's how we go to space. <laughs> I'm not even playing around with that thing. Captain Skiles, Bloodshed, KSP, Forum, Golden Peach. Thanks for the follows, y'all. I am going to actually go F9. That's why I loaded this craft up, because you have to be in a flight scene to use Quick Load, Quick Save. That's going to take us back here. All right. What we need to do. Let's turn on SAS so we buy us some time. Let's take fuel from there. Nope. Can we take fuel from anywhere? Let's take fuel from there and put it up here. I'm going to see if we can balance the plane by doing this. I'm going to see if we can balance it. <clears throat> Alright. How much time do we have before it freaking rolls over on us? Come on. I know that you don't like what we're doing, but just bear with me, girly. Did I not put it all in? Oh, I did. I'm fine. Okay. We're just gliding over the KSC because I didn't nose it down. I'm just gliding right now, and it actually is gliding pretty well as long as it's got very high velocity. As long as it's got very high velocity, it's gliding pretty well. It apparently wants to auto S turn. 
Yeah, we don't have any roll control, so that's gonna be a problem. We should just go for like an orbital S turn. Something is making it want to fly upside down constantly. 